Happy March 8th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy essentially downloaded the Tree of Seasons into a magical hourglass, and she did pretty well at it, I think. Our hourglass is brilliant. We wrote that down in our notes here. We got a key phrase. Brilliant hourglass. It could have been better. The hourglass could be resplendent, but it could have been much, much worse. So, I don't know what we do with this now. Hopefully, Master Laurel has a plan. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. March 8th. You are excused from the castle while Master Laurel cleans up after the ritual and must discuss the next steps with the council. You're told to occupy yourself for the time being. The city is still bustling with people from the festival. You decide to visit and explore. Visit some parts of the city. Uh, there is a um, there is a treasure icon on this page. So we get to roll on the uh, what do they call it? Hidden find treasure hidden on the page. Hidden treasure. So we're gonna roll a d10. Move this over here. Move these over here. D10. What do we find? A foresight flower. I haven't had one of those before. Where's our... Is it here? There we go. A foresight flower. Um, here it is. Consumed on use adds d4 to intellect on a single roll. Nice. Oops. Well, I guess I'm <laughs> I'm writing them down on the uh, on the character page because I'm more likely to remember <laughs> what we have, um, that we have it, and what they do. So we'll add it here to our list. Foresight flower. And that's intelligence. We've got a brawn berry that uh, we can use to enhance our strength, and a nimble cap that we can use to enhance our dexterity. We've got a meal ration, that donut from from way back, uh, from the hallway outside of Cora's um, uh, room, I think, is where we got that. Uh, so, okay, there's our treasure. We're going to visit some parts of the city. Let's see. Find some food. Uh, food stall vendors are open early today, as many critters look for a traditional breakfast following the Turning Leaf Festival. The delicious scent of freshly baked bread, sizzling street food, and aromatic coffee fills the air, tempting your taste buds. Would you like to purchase some meal rations for later? Costs one amber. Uh, consumed on use. Needed if you can't find food and water when traveling. We have one. Mm. Mule rations, one amber. Doesn't say how many we could buy. Maybe just one. So we'll say we have two meal rations now. We're down to 12 amber. Um, some coffee to go, please. Okay, visit a monument. There is a famous monument in the city dedicated to the forest guardians. It is busy with several critters from out of town looking to visit before they leave to return home. A young child asks about the statues. What are the names of all these guardians? The tour guide appears overwhelmed and struggles to answer. Oh, you're going to get fired, buddy. What do you know about the guard? What do you know about the guardians? <laughs> uh, roll d20 plus intellect reminder student. We do not have the student trait. We did just get the foresight flower. Um, I think, I think we'll save it. Uh, our intellect is, uh, plus zero, seven. <laughs> yeah. If the result is between five and eight, you recall the name of the sun guardian, Aurelia. The child seems interested. <laughs> okay. Good job. That's Aurelia, buddy. I whisper, maybe I whisper it to the tour guide. That's Aurelia. <laughs> okay. Street performer. Uh, a st okay, third stop here. A street magician appears to be looking for volunteers for an escape act. 
Something about them seems untrustworthy. Uh-oh. They gesture to have you join them. Before you can voice your desire or lack thereof, someone in the crowd behind you shoves you onto the stage. The magician immediately locks you up in several chains and asks if you can escape. What? Okay. <laughs> Roll D20 plus dexterity. Um, reminder, locksmith. We are not a locksmith. We do have plus one dexterity. We have a nimble cap, which we, which which we could use. Uh, we could roll a d4. And we also have this boon die. Um, I decided to use an actual d four sided die for the boon die, which <laughs> um, seems appropriate. Okay. Um, uh, I, again, I don't think I want to waste any of our uh, resources on this kind of thing. Although this seems a little nefarious. Um, and I'm playing by the hard, um, I'm using the hard mode rules, at least for combat. Uh, Eric, um, in the comments a day or two ago pointed out, yeah, there are in the rules, uh, there are different, um, there's a hard mode, there's a standard mode, and I believe there's an easy mode. You can, um, the easiest mode you can decide to use all your stuff after you roll. Um, I'm doing hard mode, so... Uh, this stuff I would have to use before. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. So um, let's just roll 20. <laughs> After all that. Um, well, that, we would get another boon die, but you can only have one. So um, one at a time. So we don't get another boon die. But we rolled a 20. Plus one is 21. And the result is... You escape from the chains and the crowd cheers. We just <laughs> we, we just go all Hulk on this thing and <laughs> rip the chains apart. We throw them down on the stage and I just glare. Ivy just glares at the magician. The magician looks at you with bewilderment and frustration. Yeah, buddy. As the crowd tosses their tips to you both, you collect two amber. Okay, fine. Yeah, Ivy doesn't like to be pushed into stuff that she doesn't want to do. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's everything on the page. So, uh, that, my friends, is March 8th. So, we shall say goodbye to um, uh, for today and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. <laughs> Thanks for watching.